animated headers for your Google Classroom. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now in our previous video, we looked at creating our own classroom headers in Canva, and this really helps you to personalize your Google Classroom experience. In today's video, we're going to take it a step further and we're going to animate these headers. Now let's dive back into Canva. Now we're going to go to the top right corner and click on create a design. Once here, let's start by typing Google Classroom. Now, once we've typed Google Classroom, we get two different options. We can either create an announcement or a header. Both can be animated and let's create our animated header now. We're going to click on Google Classroom header. This opens up a new tab with a design. And for the sake of this demonstration, let's use a different template. On the left-hand side, we have all these different templates. Let's choose one. I'm going to choose this purple template. The beautiful thing about learning is that nobody can take it away from you. Now, in order for you to add animations or movement, we're going to use something called a GIF or GIF file. Now, if you have GIF and GIF files and you have them readily available, then you can use those as your headers. We are going to be creating our own using the Canva elements. So on the left hand side, let's go ahead and click on elements. Here, you're going to do a search for animated elements. Let's go ahead and type in animated. This will bring up lots of different animated elements. You can see we've got lines and circles, we have some fireworks, lots of different options. Now, as you are searching for different search terms, you will find even more animated effects. I'm going to select this circle here. Let's click on that and let's add it to our header. I'm going to resize it slightly, place it on the left hand side make a duplicate and place that on the right hand side. Now all this does is add an element of movement, not too much so it doesn't distract the students, but it does generate some extra additional interest in that header. So we're going to leave that there and now we're going to get it ready for Google Classroom. Let's give it a title. I'm going to call this animated Google Classroom header and then I'm going to click on download. Now here you also get a little reminder of how long this animation is. It's a six second animation, perfect for Google Classroom. We're going to click on download and we do not want the MP4 video format. The Google Classroom header works with GIF or GIF files. So we're going to select that file type. Here at the bottom, you can see GIF. We're going to click on that. And as it downloads, I would love to hear in that comment section below if you are on team GIF or GIF, let me know and then scroll back up so you can watch the rest of the video. Now, as it's downloading, I'm going to open up a second tab and that's for Google Classroom. So let's open up that tab and type in classroom.google.com. This brings me to Google Classroom. I see all my classes for the coming school year. So let's go ahead and select the one we would like to give an animated header. Class 2021, you can see there's already an animated header there, but let's use our newly created one. I'm going to click on upload photo. This brings up the uploader. We can simply drag and drop that GIF file in there. And then as it uploads, everything is prepared for Google Classroom. We can adjust this crop. Let's do that right now. Let's adjust the crop and then click on select class theme. The theme at the top will be replaced. You can see it's a very busy animated header and this will be replaced with the newly created one. And here we are, less distracting, but there is still that slight movement there. Animated headers in Google Classroom. Now for even more EdTech tips, watch the suggested video here. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.